Welcome to another edition of Tesla Tips and Trips. You join me inside my Tesla Y today because we are gonna go over the latest software update from Tesla. I don't normally do this, but there's some tiny little things in here that mean a huge difference. Today, we're talking 2022 16.1.x. I got two though. Keep it here. All right, so we are gonna take a look at this latest software update and uh, included our autopilot maximum speed. Let's just take a look at the screen now. Autopilot maximum speed has been increased from 80 to 85 miles per hour. That's a welcome change, of course, for those that like to rip it on, you know, like Montana highways or whatever, or just normal LA driving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please continue to remain attentive and be ready to take over uh, while, auto, uh, while using autopilot features. That's one of those small changes everybody's been asking for. 80 was not enough, 85 is probably still not enough, but hey, at least they're listening to, uh, to us uh, end users. So the next thing on the list is the thing I am the most excited about, and that is uh, media player accounts. For example, Spotify are now linked to your driver profile. Simply log into your media account while your driver profile is selected. And what I find interesting about this is not getting a lot of coverage. It's, it's not getting the headlines I thought it would. For those people that share a car, uh, whether it's husband and wife or domestic partner or girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, um, if you guys are sharing a car and you hop in your car and you put in your, um, your profile, it's gonna be one Spotify account for the car, basically. And where that comes into being a problem is uh, let's say one person's listening on their phone and the other person j hops in the car, it kills the other feed. You can only have one feed going at a time. So there's one example of why this is a, definitely a, a welcome change. The other thing is, in our case, uh, my wife has the Model Y, I have a Model 3. On occasion, we switch cars to kind of offset the mileage on the Y. She drives it a ton. Um, she's a, already at 10,000 miles since December of 2021. And so we will um, frequently switch cars for a week or so. I get to drive the Y then. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why we're doing it is the mileage. <laughs> um, but uh, so anyway, we switch cars and then she has my Spotify profile on the three and I have hers on the Y and not that I don't like her taste in music or anything. It's just one of those situations where I like my stuff. I want to listen to my stuff and she wants to listen to her stuff. And like I said, she goes out for a walk. I go out for a walk and it, it kills the feed. So then I got to listen to the radio or some other thing in that car. So that's why this is super important, important. And I'm going to go over uh, how you set that all up on this video right here. So uh, a very welcome change, a minor change. I think uh, users have been asking for it. So thank you, Tesla, for uh, putting this into the latest update. Fantastic. The next thing that a lot of new users may not even realize this wasn't in there before, and that is navigation energy prediction. Um, it's not there. Uh, it used to take in uh, elevation changes, but that's pretty much it when you nav... Uh, going on a road trip or whatever. It knew the elevation change aspect of it. Now, under this latest update, the uh, navigation energy prediction is now in there. It's baked into your route, which is just a very welcome change. Uh, if you're new to EVs, new to uh, road tripping these cars, it's definitely, definitely needed. So what that is, is energy prediction for your route has been improved by incorporating forecasted crosswind, headwind, humidity, ambient temperature, this is all very cool. This is, I, I have a feeling there's gonna be some people complaining, my range is not what it used to be. Well, yeah, it is, you just didn't know about it. <laughs> so now you're gonna kinda know ahead of time when you're on these road trips, um, just exactly um, what's impacting it. In fact, I have a video where I was coming back from Vegas in my Model 3, and I thought it's usually a two-stop trip maximum. It's an SR Plus, two-stop, two I'm home. This one took, I forget what it was, three or four stops. There was so much wind just bogging me down and it kept telling me, no, you're not gonna make it. No, you're not gonna make it. Luckily, I know the car so well. I've had the car so long, I knew I was gonna make it. I was not listening to the nav in that case. And uh, thankfully I made it home in time for my kid's Taekwondo belt test, which is why I had to get home. So, um, so there you have it. So that's gonna be baked into the nav. There's also a few subtle, tiny changes uh, within the car. One of which is, I'm going to show you on some B-roll here, the detail of 
of the cars around you when you're, say, sitting at a light or in traffic or whatever has noticeably improved. Now, I think that's coming from the uh, full self-driving package and, and that side of the software development. Um, the cars look very realistic all of a sudden on your on your screen there when you're stopped in traffic or in traffic or whatever. The other thing is, let me see if I can put this in gear and you can see it. This line here uh, above the speed limit, which is for, uh, let's see if I roll if it's going to do anything. Well, normally right here on the on the left side, it turns green. On the, on the right side, it's black. And what that is for is for letting you know about regen. Uh, you saw a little bit, of, there's a little black line there. It's thicker. Much, much, much better to see. I don't know why it was so razor thin before, um, but now the thickness definitely is nicer. So uh, that's been included as another subtle change in this update. Um, I'm gonna move up a little forward here because for some reason the cameras are getting these these light flares. Hopefully right here. Let me see, I'm not, it's, it's really, really summery and hot and I'm trying to do this in the shade. So people are looking at me, why is he rolling back and forth? Yeah, just a YouTuber. Yeah, I know, I can't do that. Oh, there's some cars, you can see the cars. Um, so those are the features. Also I noticed, Let's say you're making a turn and you've got your turn signal on and you've got the camera going down here in the tray, what used to be the tray area for you longtime users down in the bottom left. If you've got that camera going, now if you're on a phone call, it throws an icon up here on the screen to let you know you're still on a phone call. I think it's green. And uh, so that's kind of a welcome change to let you know, hey, you didn't lose your phone call. Uh, while you're making a turn on the road, it's just kind of up there on the screen now. So i um, not sure if there's any other big change. Oh, I did notice this. Now, I don't know if it was on this update, but certainly in a recent update, the, uh, the compass was here kind of in the middle of the screen for a while, and I guess people hated that. So it's now been chucked over to the top right again, along with the globe, which is the uh, satellite view, the uh, showing traffic, superchargers and other chargers. So that's all in there now. Uh, back where it should be, back where we've been used to it for so long. I'm glad they, they're kind of going back and putting all that stuff um, where we're used to it. It's You know, I, I love changes on these these updates, but at the same time, it's it's one of those things that don't change too much. Don't change locations of things where we're used to, where, you know, we're hands on the wheel, we're looking out the window, we're driving, and Where'd it go? Where did the, where now, where did that feature go? So, uh, so there you go. All right, let's get into the whole Spotify uh, user profile thing. So this is my wife's why. Uh, her profile, she has, uh, the Spotify is already on this car for both her profile and my profile. Now, Tesla claims um, that all you need to do is go into the profile that you want and change your Spotify uh, account. So, I'm gonna go into software. I'm gonna go into release notes and make sure that that's the case. Um, simply log into your media account while your driver profile is selected. Okay, great, so that's what we want. And my profile is selected, so that's great. So I'm gonna go into Spotify. Um, that is not my account. So what you wanna do is swipe all the way to the bottom. Wow. My wife has a lot of stuff. So that's, so you want to swipe all the way to the bottom and sign out. So now you got to sign back in using the account that you want tied to this profile. So hang on a second. I'm not going to show you my login. I'll be back once it's in there. But just know that this is the spot. You got to put your username, your password, and then it'll be, it'll be tied to your profile. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so now I am logged in to my Spotify and I have all my playlists and podcasts and life is good. And you can see that this is my uh, profile here at the top of the screen. Yes, it's very hot, 99 degrees outside. So I've got my daily mixes and all kinds of other cool stuff in my playlist. Now, my wife, who had her playlists and her account tied to the entire car, let's switch to her profile now and see what happens. Okay, the seat's changing, all that kind of fun stuff. Let's go to Spotify. And that is her stuff. This is definitely not my playlist. 
So it automatically switches without having to do anything. This is a game changer. This is a huge, massive thing for people that share their Teslas. And I don't think it's getting the coverage, which is astonishing to me. So I figured, you know what? Hey, I've got a YouTube channel. I can actually talk about this. <laughs> so I will. Um, all right, so let me go back to my profile, see changes, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and let's go to my Spotify again. And boom, this is my stuff. Yes, I have a weird taste in music. I like pretty much everything. So this is, yeah, this is my stuff and my profile. And this is fantastic. So now when I hop in the car, not only does the steering wheel change, not only does my seat and all the other mirrors, all that fun stuff, I go to my Spotify and boom, it's there. I can play my music when I want. And this is fantastic. And it doesn't cut off the other account for my wife who might want to use it on her phone or whatever. So this is this is a pretty huge deal. And I know behind the scenes, it was probably not that easy to automatically log in and out like that and save all that and make it pretty seamless and make it pretty fast. Um, it's pretty elegant. And it was just as elegant on my Model 3 as well. I already went ahead and changed all that stuff, which is why I'm doing the video um, on this car to do the switch over. Uh, so I decided to do that here and, and there you go. I mean, it's amazing. It really, truly is incredible. So um, so there you go. That's that's the, the changes in this latest update and one of which I'm really super happy about. Um, hey, since I have you here, I've got your attention. I wanna give you a tip that I gave, I think in a short, um, but I wanna let you know about this tip and it's pretty huge. So let's go to your profiles. You notice I have another uh, carry, I call it a carry BU. Um, that's in case someone messes with my main setting, my main uh, driver profile, a uh, valet, uh, someone borrowing the car, whatever. They happen to be on my uh, thing and they accidentally change the settings. I can go back and go into carry BU um, and automatically be back to normal. Because how many of you out there love the seat? position where it is and you don't want it changed. I mean, raise your hand, yeah. Yeah, I could see a couple of you out there. Yeah, for sure. So um, once you get the seat the way you like it, make a backup profile. And um, how you do that is hit driver profile settings. Um, you just put in a new name, create the profile. It'll take the settings that you're currently on and just make another uh, version of it. And that's it. So that's pretty cool, huh? There's a little uh, bonus tip. I'm all about giving here on the channel, and there's a bonus tip just laid out for you. Make a driver profile backup. You'll thank me later when uh, somebody messes it up down the road. So, uh, all right, that's it. That's the that's the update. Let's uh, call that up real quick. The update uh, here. So it's uh, 2022.16.2.x. They have vers different versions for different cars and stuff, but I'm on .2. Both my cars, by the way, on, on version .2 completely different cars. I'm not sure what's going on there. So um, it did take about five days between, by the way, if you're wondering about the release schedule and all that stuff, um, it was about five days between the Model Y getting it first, because it's the newer model is what I'm assuming. I've yet to figure out their, their game plan for this. Um, and then my Model 3. So um, kind of a small update, but some big stuff in there that I'm pretty happy about, and I uh, hope you are too. Thank you once again for joining us here on the channel. I totally appreciate you, uh, you know, watching and subscribing and telling your friends about us and living the Tesla lifestyle. That's what this is all about. Um, so appreciate you watching. I'm going to try to get this weird sun flare. Sorry about that. So bizarre. Let me see if I can back up. Anybody behind me? Because that would suck if I wrecked the car while I'm thanking you for watching. I gotta stay away from the curb with these wheels too, right? Still can't get rid of the flare. All right, well, I'm gonna be out of here. Um, thank you so much for watching and we will catch you on the next Tesla Tips and Trips video.